There was once a little boy who wanted to meet God. Now, he figured it had to be a long trip to where God lived. So he packed his backpack with Twinkies and some cans of root beer and set out on the journey. Now, when he'd gone about three blocks, he came across an older woman sitting on a park bench. He went up, sat down next to her. And when he opened his backpack to grab a root beer to take a drink, it struck him that the woman looked kind of hungry. So he reached into his backpack and offered her a Twinkie. She gratefully accepted it and smiled broadly at him. Her smile was so pretty to the little boy that he wanted to see it again. So he reached into his backpack and brought out a root beer and gave that to her. And she smiled again. This delighted the boy. And the two of them just sat there smiling and eating Twinkies and drinking root beer. And neither of them said a single word. After a while, the boy thought he was kind of tired and he should maybe head home. And so he got up and turned to leave, but he'd only gone a few steps when he stopped, turned around, ran back, and gave the old woman a big hug, and then he made his way home. When the boy got home, his mom was surprised to see how happy he looked, and she asked him, what did you do today that made you so happy? And he replied, I had lunch with God today. And before his mother could say anything, he added, and you know what, Mom? She's got the most beautiful smile I've ever seen. <laughs> Meanwhile, the old woman who lived with her son, smiling inside and outside, returned to her home. And when her son saw the look on his mom's face, he said, Mom, what did you do today that made you so happy? And she said, I had Twinkies in the park with God. But before he could say anything, she added, you know, he's much younger than I expected. <laughs> On one level, of course, both the little boy and the old woman overstate their case. On another level, they speak the truth. I know they speak the truth because I too have had lunch with God. Today, Jesus tells him what is most important of all to him. He tells us that we are to love God with all our minds and hearts and souls and that we love our neighbors as ourselves. These two are profoundly and inextricably connected to Jesus, and we need to get this right. Now, we can misunderstand this connection between God and humans in a, in a number of different ways. To demonstrate, I'll let this circle stand for God and this circle stand for us. One misunderstanding is to separate the two completely, that God is out there or up there somewhere, and we have to pray and sacrifice to get God to somehow decide to sunder the heavens and to come to us in some moment our situation. Nope. That's not how it is. Another inaccurate way to look at this is to say that we are God and God is us. That we are the same. Nope. As one of my priest friends likes to say, Wrong again, banana brain. 
Instead, the truth looks like this. We are in God and God is in us. God is more than us and we are not fully God. But there is this place in each of us where we overlap with God, so to speak. This place where we are both ourselves and more than ourselves. There's that place in us where we are one with God and God is one with us. And it is crucial for a rightly ordered and meaningful life that we get this right. Jesus taught this, of course. He said perhaps most clearly when he said, I was hungry and you fed me. I was thirsty and, and you gave me to drink. I was lonely and you visited me. So, yes, like that young boy and that old woman, I too have had lunch with God. I've chatted with God on the phone, taken a walk with God, sat across the table from God at a meeting. And God was much younger than I expected, also much older. Sometimes God was in a hospital bed and sometimes in a dusk in a first grade classroom. Sometimes God had Down syndrome. And sometimes God visited me when I was scared or lonely. And sometimes God showed up as the compassion that welled up in my own heart. Yes, I have had lunch with God, and so have you. And you and I need to train ourselves to see rightly, to see what is most real, God in the human heart. The little boy would tell you, he had lunch with God and that she had the most beautiful smile he had ever seen. The old woman would tell you, she ate Twinkies in the park with God and that God was much younger than she expected. And me, I'd tell you, they both were right. 